These are tritivores or tritivores or something like that. And they're basically sort of giant flies. <laughs> Today we're just doing a, a dress rehearsal. Nothing's quite finished. We're just doing a fitting, try the guys with the costume with the heads, do a bit of choreography, and we won't be filming for about another four days. So in that gap, we'll just do all our finessing and any tweaks that need doing and, and just finish the finish off the look of them. The tritivores have quite a lot to do in, the, in this episode. They have to be able to run, but their vision is very, very limited. They have quite a lot of talking together, talking with the human characters. The reason we've tried to get the heads moving in different directions and going like this is to get away from what always we see the humans doing when they turn their heads, so that they seem humanoid, but there is another element which is insect about them. They're obviously animatronic masks that are being worn by um, Paul and Rory, our regular monster men. So yeah, it's all fiberglass and inside there's all the servo motors. And there's a, a skull that our guys wear and the whole head clips onto it. And then it's just the animatronics because they haven't got kind of blinking eyes or anything like that, the big insect eyes. There's not really any life you can put into that, so we've got to kind of put as much movement in around the mouth there is to bring it to life, really, so it doesn't look too dead. A lot of the time, the same group of performers have moved from one, one episode onto another episode. So we've built up a very nice working pattern. And when something new comes along, we sort of have a little bit of a formula now, how to approach it and which, which way to go.